Hello, and welcome to another TA Tech Tip. In this Tech Tip, I will introduce the Dynamic Mechanical Analysis Software Application version 8.0 for Electroforce Instruments. I will set up and execute a temperature ramp test to show you the features and the benefits of the new DMA version 8.0 test application. The temperature ramp test is a typical test for evaluating the glass transition temperature, TG, of a material. Within the wind test software, I initiate DMA from this application shortcut button. This opens the DMA application and minimizes wind test. I open a test file to restore any settings I previously saved. The DMA setup window is the primary setup screen for DMA tests. We've arranged this so you will generally progress left to right when configuring a test. I'll walk you through the different sections. The specimen shape section allows you to define the specimen geometry and dimensions and offers many choices for typical DMA geometries or shapes. Compliance correction is important for accurate testing of relatively stiff samples. This section allows users to automatically obtain the stiffness of their combination of instrument, specimen clamps, and force sensor. The specimen insertion section provides insights and tools that are useful to insert samples. Here we display the primary channels in real time. We also provide tools to position the motor and clamps to a specific displacement. And then once the specimen is clamped, we often switch to hold a specific force. This is helpful to avoid any significant changes in specimen force while we change the temperature to the starting temp. We define the DMA test conditions with both the test setup and waveform setup sections. In test setup, we define the parameters we wish to control for the primary oscillation. Displacement load or force, stress or strain. These can be defined uniquely for the mean and amplitude of the applied oscillation. We've designed and implemented a new adaptive controller for DMA tests. In addition to tuning free control, it enables the force track feature to maintain the mean force without requiring users to have any foresight about their specimen stiffness or creep response. Another control feature is auto ranging. Here we can define the bounds in which we allow the adaptive controller to operate. We define the DMA test parameters in the waveform setup section. There are three methods available here. These are all oscillating DMA methods. Stepped, temperature ramp, and time. Temperature ramp is a method in which we oscillate continuously, acquiring measurements during a constant rate temperature test. In a step test, you build a series of conditions by defining a change of one or two variables. Examples are a strain sweep test, a frequency sweep, or a nested frequency and temperature test. I'll reload the temperature condition file and execute this test. The DMA control panel allows me to start and monitor this test. I will show a couple real-time scopes to allow me to observe the raw data during the test. After the first condition, a real-time results window displays the results from the first point. And this updates with each new data point until the test is complete. After the last condition, the DMA application will open TRIOS, plotting the data file that was just created. TRIOS has many features useful for analysis, plotting, and report generation. In this tech tip, we went over the DMA application version 8 for Electroforce. Please stay tuned for more helpful tips from TA Instruments, and thank you for your interest.